you've been told that your baby needs spinal manipulations to correct a head tilt? Hi there, it's Nisha from My Freak Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to share with you three reasons why spinal manipulations is not appropriate and ineffective in correcting baby's head tilt. So here at My Freak Physio, we recently saw a baby come in with his mom and dad and they were extremely concerned that his head was tilted. Now, this little baby is actually 12 months old now. They had actually noticed baby had a head tilt right from day one when he was born. And at three to four weeks old, they started treatment to correct the head tilt. They've seen physiotherapists and they've seen chiropractors and different treatments was carried out on baby, including neck stretches and spinal manipulations. Now, fast forward 11 months down the road, baby's head is still tilted to one side. And in fact, he now has a very flat spot on the back of his head. And unfortunately, it is now too late to correct that flat spot on his head. Now, three reasons why spinal manipulation is not appropriate and ineffective is because mainly the cause for his head tilt was a tight neck muscle that ran from his collarbone, his sternum, his chest bone, his collarbone, all the way to the back of his head in the mastoid bone. That muscle was tight from birth because of the way he was positioned in mommy's womb. And ultimately that requires treatment. It is not because his spine was out of alignment that required adjusting. So three reasons why the spinal adjustments didn't work was one, they were treating the wrong thing. It isn't the spine that's misaligned. It is the neck muscle that is tight. Number two, there is no evidence for spinal manipulations in babies and children. And in fact, it can be quite dangerous. So for all those, you know, many weeks of spinal manipulation, baby's neck is still tilted and it hasn't improved with time. Number three, it was extremely distressing for baby. So these spinal manipulations apparently involved him being held down and you know, while they adjusted his spine and he was extremely traumatized. He screamed and screamed and cried and mom and dad said it was very hard to try and do any stretches that they were told because baby just wouldn't have anyone come near his head and neck because of these spinal manipulations he had to endure. Now, you know, he is 12 months old. He actually was very upset when we tried to lay him down to even assess his neck range of movement. And it took us a lot of coaxing and to try and settle him and to do it in a fun way for him to allow us to actually stretch his neck muscles. So I saw mom and dad, I taught them different stretches that didn't involve baby actually getting distressed. And actually at the end of the session, he was having fun and playing and we were getting effective stretches to the neck muscles. So I thought I'd jump in and share this case story with you. If you're out there and you've got a baby with a head tilt that you're really worried about, don't try spinal manipulations. There is no evidence for it and it's extremely distressing. And at the end of the day, you know, 11 months down the road, baby still has a head tilt and in fact, a very flat spot on his head, which we cannot correct effectively now because he's 12 months old. If you're concerned about your baby with a head tilt, the best thing to do is to actually ring us here at MyFit Physio, speak to one of our pediatric physiotherapists. The number to ring is 02 9790-4233. If you know somebody out there who's concerned about their baby's head tilt and is considering trying spinal manipulations, please like and share this video with them. Until next time, have a fantastic day. Bye.